I'm Johnny and I'm a Romany Gypsy as well as being an Irish traveller. My granddad is a Romany Gypsy and my nan's an Irish traveller. That's how comes I'm a bit of both. I live in Canterbury on a field with my nan, my granddad, my uncle, auntie, cousins and my mum and dad. Some of my friends are still on the road. Their families never did move into houses. Neither have they managed to find a place to live on a permanent site. They were stopping on an old industrial estate but have just been evicted. They found a new place to stop on an old bit of disused road. When they move, everyone has to help set up, and that includes all the young people. There's a lot to do. Got all the steps down, all the jacks, all the gas bottles, generators, it's hard work. We've got to go to the garages, but we've got to pay for it, the water. Like a churn of water, that's one pound, same. Four o'clock then, a Christmas morning, we got up, opened the presents, got dressed, got the bed. Then we had to move and then um, we met a white bee travel all the way up and we've been here ever since. That's Maria, she's my little sister. She's my She's, another, she's my sister too, she's Lorna, and, um, and, Fred. and that's my little cousin there, Freddie Lee. And, and where's uh, Michael? Michael. <laughs> Most young people who are travelling don't get to school much. No sooner are they settled into one school, they have to move on. They're never in one place long enough to get a regular education. And this year I'll be 12 year old and I'm thinking I, no, can't, read, I can't have a read of right yet. <laughs> and this year I'll be 11 and I've only spent one day in school. Stop. Yeah, this is the first time we've stopped anywhere long. Yeah. When we settled and we go to school. So you don't know how long we're going to have in this school? The first time was in the dust straight for yeah. four months. Month? Four months. And you went over there. I know. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've been going for two weeks now. It was good. Me and loads of new friends. We've done English, maths, um, science. I've gone in a week. Uh, yeah, you're going in a week. Got... And then we went, um, we went and played outside. And then we went in a group, and then we read to the teachers, and then we were reading to each other. And we just got back so we have a go footy. Whenever they arrive in a new place, it's not long before the police or the council officials turn up. Kicked off. Yeah, we got kicked off, and they let the rest of them stay over there. Got to move the weekend. Went to court. Council. Tucked us off. We wouldn't let us stay. We wouldn't let us stay nowhere. He hates us, he said.
There's not much to do when you live on the roadside. Living in a small trailer means that you can't have too many toys. But because most of the dads go out collecting scrap, they're usually some old bits and pieces around. Johnny's knocking up a kennel for his dog from some old bits of wood. More fortunate are my friends who've got somewhere permanent to live. On the local council site. But even so, it's still far from perfect. The site is horrible. I don't like it. I want a new site. When it rains, there's going to be puddles of water and mud everywhere. And when you walk through it, it'll go through up your shoes. And when you come outside, it's still up the place. And my mum has to keep uh, mopping it up with the mop. All the water and mud goes all up your trousers. And, and like, I don't like this site. It's horrible. I mean, I can't take my children that in there and give them a shower when it's like this because that shed's really damp and they got no heaters in there. There's no heaters in there, nothing. And I would like for them to move me on and move me to another place now, a different site or anything. But, it's got but near the town. if they don't do us a site, like I said to you, if you don't do me a site, I said you'll have to find me else to go into. I said because I've got three going to school. I mean, I just can't pull alongside the road with these, can I? I suppose I would get used to it. I've never been in there. Also, I've been there because my mum and dad's in there. I was like my family is, but I've never been there like to stop. I suppose it's a chance I'll let the table to get used to it, I suppose, if there's nowhere else for us to go. This is Mr. Boys, my cousins. And its name, what's its name, Jane? Trigger. Trigger, it's a boy. It's a Daddy. really, yes, yeah, a really good old sis is. But when the sun shines, it's better. There's a field for horses, and the site's a place where travellers can stay together. My cousin, my she boy, my granny, my grandfather, my aunt, my mother, my other aunt. And some of the people. These are my two cousins, called James, called Jack. One, she, he's ten. No, he's nine. He's nine. Coming he's ten. seven. Coming and eight. he's got some dogs nine. and that. Cousin, he had like loads of puppies. He's got three. He's got like a black one, this one, and, like another brown one. He's like he's made a lot of money for them. In the summer, there'd be like little tadpoles and fishes in there. And out there, my father sketched the cut. Some people swim in here. My father comes down here with all the fish rods, me and my two sisters and two brothers long, yep. and my two cousins. We sit there and we sit about two or three hours and we catch like two or three big three eels like that big. We take them home, we make them own jelly, and then the next day we'll have like some jelly eels in that. <laughs> it is good. 